We mandate E-Verify to penalize businesses who game the system to keep American wages low. Of this, my friends, you can be sure. Your views on immigration will have zero impact and zero influence on a House dominated by Democrats who want to replace you, the American voters, with newly amnestied citizens and an ever increasing number of chain migrants. Laura Ingram getting roasted? Yes, please. Laura Ingram, wow. What can you say about her that hasn't already been said by the Anti-Defamation League? Powerful. Comedian Trevor Noah would tear her and others in the media space to shreds like... The left and all the little gatekeepers on Twitter become literally hysterical if you use the term replacement. If you suggest that the Democratic Party is trying to replace the current electorate, the voters now casting ballots, with new people, more obedient voters from the third world. But they become hysterical because that's, that's what's happening, actually. Let's just say it, that's mm. true. Mm. So right. this matters on a bunch of different levels, but on the most basic level, it's a voting rights question. This dude, an easy target for Noah. I'm just sad that Tucker Carlson isn't here today. He's my favorite. What a talent. Tucker Carlson, are you kidding me? Woo! That man's a beast. Who else could fill an entire show each night asking questions that Google could easily answer? <laughs> Do vaccines work? Who really won the election? Who's the president right now? Is this America? <laughs> Gripping stuff. Funny how so many of us see through it, yet MAGA adore him. Nobody has asked President Biden yet about these allegations from a former Hunter Biden business associate that uh, Hunter would call his dad, then the vice president, and put him on speakerphone to chat uh, uh, with his business associates. On the topic of nepotism. Every day you show up, and every day you demand answers on the pressing issues of the day, and then Fox News asks about Hunter Biden. And I'll be honest though, I actually think that's a good thing. I really do. I think people need to be held accountable if they're using their dad's name to get ahead in life. And I can't think of anyone better to ask about that than Peter Ducey. Yeah, wherever he is, Chris Wallace laughed at that joke. Noah knocks it out of the park. You did yes, not answer did. the question of why the president asked the White House press secretary to come out in front of the podium for the first time and utter a falsehood. Why did he do that? It undermines the credibility of the entire White House press office no, on doesn't. day don't one. Be so, don't be so overly dramatic about it, Chuck. What it, it, you're saying it's a falsehood, and they're giving Sean Spicer, our press secretary, gave alternative facts to that. But the point remains alternative that there's... Facts? This was a moment that will live in infamy for Conway. And yes, it is risky making jokes these days. You know, I mean, we all saw what happened at the Oscars. Um, I've actually been a little bit worried about tonight. I, I won't lie, you know, I was like, what if I make like a really mean joke, you know, about like Kellyanne Conway, and then her husband rushes up on the stage and thanks me. <laughs> I just hope we all stay calm. Remember, two years ago, we had the lowest number of border crossings in decades. Today, we have the highest number of illegal crossings into the United States ever. This lunatic, Texas Governor Greg Abbott, also got bodied by Noah. Before, before we really get going, uh, a few quick announcements. Um, anyone here who is a Democrat in a swing district, I've been asked to remind you not to hand your resume to the cable news execs at your table until after the event, please. Thank you very much. Also, a quick note before people uh, order their Ubers home tonight, Governor Greg Abbott is generously providing free buses for the Telemundo table. <laughs> Very classy. My father, 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 my Everyone is here tonight. We've got politicians, huh? we've got the media, we've got celebrities, basically anyone who's been to Jeffrey Epstein's island. This is an exclusive event. In fact, coming in, coming in, I heard Meghan McCain telling the bouncer, do you know who my father was? And they were like, you have a ticket, you, you can just come in. But she insisted on telling them who her father was anyway. Are you a pedophile? Are you a pedophile? Are you a pedophile? Are you a pedophile? Shout out to Lauren Windsor here. Don't forget, don't forget, 
he's also had some major legislative successes. You know, in his first year in office, I might add, you know, he got a bipartisan infrastructure bill passed that would do everything from fixing America's roads and bridges to modernizing school buses, which Matt Gates's girlfriend is very excited about. <laughs> Don't boo love! Ivermectin, as well as other proactive treatments and practices, were already helping COVID-19 patients all across the country. On Rupert Murdoch's news channel. How about that Fox primetime lineup, huh? Tucker Carlson, Sean Hannity, Laura Ingram. Their coverage of COVID was really impactful. Their segments about vaccines moved their viewers into the ICU. And congrats! Congrats to Sean Hannity on becoming the longest running host in cable news history, by the way. Give it up for him, for real, give it up for him. Longest running host. Don't hate, don't hate the player. Yeah. Fun fact, Sean Hannity and uh, Ainsley Earhart are actually uh, dating now. Yes, yeah, and I actually think it's beautiful to see an office romance at Fox that won't end in a $20 million settlement, yeah. I'm sure wherever Roger Ailes is right now, he's looking up and smiling. Oh. The committee getting its hands on at least two dozen texts sent between Jenny Thomas and President Trump's then chief of staff, Mark Meadows, in the days after the election. In one, Thomas writing, quote, help this great president stand firm, Mark. Biden and the left is attempting the greatest heist of our history. And in another, just days after the 2020 election, Thomas writing, do not concede. Rightfully so, Jenny Thomas was lumped in as well. And we have to face the facts. The media is in a tough position. You did say that, Mr. President. Informing the American public is harder than ever before. You're battling conspiracy theories that the election was stolen by George Soros, that uh, JFK Jr. is still alive, that everyone in this room is a secret pedophile. And that's just what Clarence Thomas's wife believes. It's insane, people. <laughs> This is truly the golden era of conspiracy theories. And yet the world is ready to go on fire to believe a lie that Joe Biden could put the truth to it immediately. Mm -hmm. And Israel is the victim here, not Hamas. So I want the, the, the president to claw back the six billion. I want him to call out Iran. I want him to say I want those hostages back. And today, you mentioned the State Department has issued a worldwide alert, travel alert to Americans. I want Joe Biden to issue a travel alert to the world. None of you are coming here anymore. We're done with everybody. The kings of cable are here. Fox News in the house, yeah? The top rated news network for the past, what, 300 years? Killing it. And I know Fox has a bad reputation. I even feel you tense up now when I talk about them. They really do crush it. You know, I think they get a bad rap because it's a mixed bag. You know, they actually have really good journalists. It just depends on when you watch, right? Fox News is sort of like a waffle house. Yeah, it's relatively normal in the afternoon, but as soon as the sun goes down, there's a drunk lady named Janine threatening to fight every Mexican who comes in. You can throw me out. I know the real president. Hey everyone, if there are any stories that you want to bring to our attention, whether it is the local level, collegiate level, professional level, national level that you think would be worthy of a story and us covering, there are so many hours in a day and only so much we see. Submit them to me. Get at me on Twitter on Instagram and TikTok. Send me a DM, send me a tweet, what have you. We appreciate it. Hope you have a great day.